Frederick T. McKenzie born March 17, 1934, is an American sedimentary and global biogeochemist. McKenzie applies experimental and field data coupled to a sound theoretical framework to the solution of geological, geochemical, and oceanographic problems at various time and space scales. He is identified closely with the book Evolution of Sedimentary Rocks, co authored in 1971 by McKenzie with Robert M. Garrels, which reawakened and revitalized the scientific community to the ideas of the British geologist James Hutton that lay fallow for more than 150 years. Evolution of sedimentary rocks expanded on the theory of reverse weathering proposed by Mackenzie and Garrels in 1966. Topic life and career Mackenzie earned a bachelor's degree in physics and geology from Uppsala College in 1955. He went on to earn an MS degree in 1959 and his PhD in 1962 in geological sciences and biogeochemistry from Lehigh University. His PhD dissertation research dealt with a paleocurrent and environmental analysis of the approximately 140 Ma Cretaceous Lakota and equivalent rock units of the western interior of the United States. Following completion of his PhD, Mackenzie went to work full time for Shell Oil Company as an exploration and research geologist. Two of his assignments at the time involved studies of the stratigraphy and structure of Ordovician carbonates in the Appalachian Mountains as targets for oil exploration and of the Devonian Marcellus Shale, which in recent years has become a horizon for gas production by fracking and a subject of strong environmental concern. Then in 1963, Mackenzie accepted a position as staff geochemist and assistant director at the Bermuda Biological Station for Research BBSR, now the Bermuda Institute of Ocean Sciences. One of his tasks at BBSR was to manage Hydro Station S, the longest continuously occupied hydro station in the world. In 1967 Mackenzie joined the faculty at Northwestern University becoming full professor and department chair in 1971. Here between 1967 and 1981, he in association with colleagues Robert Garrels, Hal Helgeson, Abraham Lerman and his many graduate students and national and international colleagues published a number of classic papers involving an interdisciplinary range of scientific topics including early diagenetic processes of reverse weathering and controls on seawater composition, poor water geochemistry, kinetics and thermodynamics of mineral water reactions, and modeling of Earth's surface environmental systems system over geological time. In 1981, Mackenzie left Northwestern and accepted an appointment in 1982 at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, where he continues doing research and teaching until today. Although in 2008, he became a professor emeritus of oceanography and geology and geophysics. At the University of Hawaii, Mackenzie broadened his research and teaching program even more into the field of marine biogeochemistry, particularly into the biogeochemical interactions involving carbon and oxygen and the nutrient elements of nitrogen, phosphorus, and silicon between the land and coastal waters. He also investigated CO2 exchange in coastal marine waters, and the biogeochemistry and consequences of ocean acidification for reefs and other carbonate ecosystems. In 1997, Mackenzie founded the Bachelor of Science degree program in Global Environmental Science at the University of Hawaii in the Oceanography Department. Mackenzie is the author or co author of nearly 300 scholarly works, and has written works with more than 200 co authors. Mackenzie is also an ardent athlete, lifetime traveler, and mountaineer, having climbed in many ranges of the world. Topic fellowships, awards and honors Mackenzie is a Fellow of the Mineralogical Society of America, the Geological Society of America, the Geochemical Society, the European Association of Geochemistry, and the American Association for the Advancement of Science, and is a Life Trustee of the Bermuda Institute of Ocean Sciences. He has received innumerable awards and honors including, 1966, Journal of Sedimentary Petrology Best Paper Award with R. M. Garrels, 1972, American Geophysical Union Distinguished Visiting Scientist 1982, University of Hawaii Enhancement of Graduate Studies and Student Life Award 1984, University of Kansas Merrill W. Haas Visiting Distinguished Scientist and M. W. Haas Medal 1988, Université Libre de Brussels Frankie International Medal Medal of Science 1991, Bermuda Biological Station for Research Andrew W. 
Mellon Foundation Fellowship 1991, University of Hawaii Regents Medal for Excellence in Research 1993-1994, President of Sigma Xi, University of Hawaii Chapter 1993, the Electrochemical Society Citation for Outstanding Accomplishments in the Field of Atmospheric Chemistry 1994, University of Hawaii Regents Medal for Excellence in Teaching 1995, Achievement Awards for College Scientists ARCs, Scientist of the Year 1995. 95, Institute for Advanced Study, Berlin Wissenschaftskolleg Fellowship 1996, Bermuda Institute of Ocean Sciences Life Trustee 1999, Northwestern University Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences Distinguished Visiting Professor 1999, Texas A&M University Department of Geology and Geophysics First Mitchell T. Halbauti Medal and Visiting Chair 2003, Hawaii Academy of Sciences Distinguished Research Scientist Award 2005, Society for Sedimentary Geology Francis J. Pettijohn Medal for Excellence in Sedimentology 2006, the Geochemical Society Claire C. Patterson Award 2007, International Association of Geochemistry Vladimir I. Vernadsky Medal 2009, Geochemistry Gold Medal American Chemical Society 2010, the Explorers Club Fellow National Topic: Selected publications. Topic: Books. Evolution of sedimentary rocks with R. M. Garrels, 1971. ISBN 0-393-09959-8. Chemical Cycles and the Global Environment, Assessing Human Influences with R. M. Garrels, C. Hunt 1973, 1974, 1975 ISBN 0-913232-29-7 Chemical Cycles in the Evolution of Earth with C. B. Gregor, R. M. Garrels, and J. B. Maynard ISBN 978-0-471-08911-7 Geochemistry of Sedimentary Carbonates with R. W. Morse 1990, ISBN 978-0-444-88781-8 Interactions of C, N, P and S Biogeochemical Cycles and Global Change with R. Woolist and L. Chu ISBN 978-3-642-76064-8 Biotic Feedbacks in the Global Climatic System, Will the Warming Feed the Warming? With G. Woodwell 1995, ISBN 978-0-19-508640-9 Carbon in the Geobiosphere—Earth's Outer Shell with A. Lerman 2006, ISBN 9048170222 Biological and Geochemical Forcings to Phanerozoic Change in Seawater, Atmosphere, and Carbonate Precipitate Composition", in Evolution of Primary Producers in the Sea with M. W. Guidry and R. S. Arvidsson 2007, ISBN 978-0-12-370518-1 our Changing Planet: An Introduction to Earth System Science and Global Environmental Change, 2011. ISBN 9780321667724. Topic: Journal Articles. Silicates: Reactivity with Sea Water. In Science with R. M. Garrels, 1965. Chemical Mass Balance Between Rivers and Oceans", in American Journal of Science with R. M. Garrels 1966. The Pleistocene History of Bermuda", in Geological Society of America Bulletin with L. S. Land and S. J. Gould 1967. A Quantitative Model for the Sedimentary Rock Cycle", in Journal of Marine Chemistry with R. M. Garrels 1972. Time variability of poor water chemistry in recent carbonate sediments. In Geochemica A Cosmochimica Acta with D. C. Thorstensen, 1974. Tectonic controls of Phanerozoic sedimentary rock cycling. In Journal of the Geological Society with J. Pigott, 1981. 
stabilities of synthetic magnesium calcites in aqueous solution, comparison with biogenic materials. In Geochemica A Cosmochimica Acta with W. D. Bischoff and F. C. Bishop. 1987. Bank derived carbonate sediment transport and dissolution in the Hawaiian archipelago. In Aquatic Geochemistry with C. Sabine. 1995. The Dolomite Problem Control of Precipitation Kinetics by Temperature and Saturation State. In American Journal of Science with R. S. Arvidsson. Biogeochemical responses of the carbon cycle to natural and human perturbations, past, present, and future. In American Journal of Science with A. Lerman and L. M. Ver. Shallow water oceans, a source or sink of atmospheric CO2. In Frontiers in Ecology and the Environment with A. J. Anderson. Coastal ocean and carbonate systems in the high CO2 world of the Anthropocene. In American Journal of Science with A. J. Anderson and A. Lerman. 2005. Initial responses of carbonate rich shelf sediments to rising atmospheric PCO2 and ocean acidification, role of high Mg calcites. In Geochemica A Cosmochimica Acta with J. W. Morse and A. J. Anderson. 2006. Coupled C, N, P, and O biogeochemical cycling at the land ocean interface. In Treatise on Coastal and Estuarine Science with A. Lerman and E. H. De Carlo. 2011. The marine carbon system and ocean acidification during Phanerozoic time. In Geochemical Perspectives with A. J. Anderson. 2013. The sensitivity of the Phanerozoic inorganic carbon system to the onset of pelagic sedimentation. In Aquatic Geochemistry with R. S. Arvidsson and R. A. Berner. 2014. Evolution of sedimentary rocks. In Treatise on Geochemistry with J. Visor. 2014.